again? Side by side with the land gods? It is not our time yet. Sunshine upon you. <laughs> That's her. I sell <laughs> all you need to succeed. The ferocity of the Tanar. I need. Good use of this.
He's just gonna be hey, standing Lloyd. there. You think we can talk? Hey, I was hoping you'd show up. You know, I have something for you to commemorate our uh, mission. We did good together. Yeah, we did. I need to go. Right. Lots to do. The land blooms at your return. Anything interesting happen while I was away? Aaron told us how you tracked down the Osaram supplying Regala with machines. In fact, he's quite adamant about relating the tale at least twice a day. But I can tell it meant a lot that you asked for his help. I wouldn't have been able to track them down if it wasn't for him. I need to go. We'll be here when you need us. Okay. Maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle before that? There we go. All drones are reconnected to the dome now. All right, people. I need you up in the control room, right away. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure, the launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also- Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones, scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. 
All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You too? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right, but why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. Intact if we want to take their shields down. I'll be gentle with him. I promise. Good. Without it, there's no payback. Don't worry. Payback's all I think about. We're finally doing this. Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take down a bunch of immortals from the stars. I can hear the drinking songs already. If that one's not working right, you can have one of my spare focuses, you know? Yeah, little bugger's got some personality, that's all. You just saved my butt a couple of times now. It wouldn't feel right to leave it behind. You know, besides, it, uh, you know, it goes with my outfit. Wouldn't want to spoil your look. Faro made the right call, you know, bringing you here. Thanks. Yeah, Varl. You know, I never knew he had a sister. I found out a few days before you guys went to... to Gemini. I was... Uh, well, to be honest, I was terrified I'd screw up the mission somehow. So he sat me down for a drink. Just one, mind you. And we talked about family. Vala, Ursa, loss and revenge. How you helped us. You know, we never did get that drink you promised back in the Embrace. And you never told me exactly how your sister escaped the Mad Sun King. I guess we never got round to it. World ending and all. No time like the present, though. If you're up for it. You think it's time for us to finally have that drink? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh.
So, how did Ursa escape Mad Sun King Drawn's palace? <laughs> well, uh, first she had to survive the Sun Ring. See, during the war, the Karja threw a prisoner a day in there. And, you know, for what? To die as sacrifices, fighting machines in a pit. Thinking somehow that was gonna appease all the other deranged machines in the world? Ha! And when it was Ursa's turn, the Karja thought she'd go down if they threw a big machine at her. Oh, but she didn't. Yeah, she defeated all of them. Even got some of Jaron's kestrels for good measure. And the mad Sun King was impressed, I guess. Thought it'd be funny to have her run around his palace as a servant. He enjoyed humiliating her that way. I remember you telling me something about that. That's how she met Avad. He helped her escape. Yeah, but... But what no Karja scroll will ever tell you is how the young prince snuck Ursa out of the palace. He knew their best chance was to get Ursa to blend in, so <laughs> he got her everything she needed to disguise herself as a Karja noblewoman. I get perfumes, veils, and all. I get the feeling she wasn't too happy with that. Oh man, Ursa would have rather fought her way out of that palace with her bare hands than put on all of that Karja eye paint. But Avad insisted it was the only way, so she agreed under one condition. Avad had to dress up as well. She made Avad dress up like a noblewoman? As perfumed and powdered as a babe. Ursa said he looked better like that than he ever did in a crown. That would uh, definitely make for an interesting sight. Oh, it worked like a charm too. Not only did they make it out of the palace, they paid a traveling merchant to get Ursa to the border, and none were the wiser. You were right. That was a story best told over a drink. All good stories are. I guess I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous point, with my hammer ready. I wouldn't have it any other way. I hope everybody's ready for this. Fighting the Zeniths isn't going to be easy. Aloy, nothing you do ever is. At least, now you don't have to do it alone. Thanks. Everyone here, training, working together. If it weren't for Varl, none of it would have happened. You know, there was this one night, right before Varl left with you to go to Gemini. He realized I was having trouble sleeping. I was nervous about the mission. To be honest, I think we both were. So, he asked me to join him in Gaia's dome. He brought up this hologram of Earth that you two found back in the Zenith launch facility. We sat there, just looking at it. I thought about how Plainsong was just a speck on that great sphere. How every corner of it must be teeming with life. And any fears I had about our mission were gone. I miss him terribly. I know. You and Aaron seem to be on better terms now. He may have terrible taste in music, but he did apologize for mocking my tribe. And that ale he keeps raving about isn't half bad. I still plan on beating that stubborn face of his to break our sparring stalemate. Try not to hurt him too bad. I should go. I'll let you know when I'm ready to head to the base. Before you do, there is one favor I would ask of you. What is it? You placed this focus in my care and gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. For the both of us. So? Make sure you stay alive to do so. 
Let's just try to all come back home. Okay? Aloy, do you have a moment? You nervous? I'd be lying if I said I'm not slightly apprehensive. The plan will work if we all focus on our assignments. Right. Oh, and I wanted to give you this for helping me get the data on Leviathan. I didn't really know what to give you, so I asked Zoe what you might like. Thanks, Alva. I'll put it to good use. Have you looked through the data we recovered on Leviathan? There is much to sort through still, but I believe we'll be able to get it operational and turn back the floods. And I've given more thought to everything we've uncovered about the Ancestors. The Overseers would have us believe they were infallible paragons. But Pharaoh wasn't. Not even close. His greed led to machines that devoured the world. The archive of the Old One's knowledge destroyed, just to erase his mistakes. So, when we learned that Eileen had a hand in covering up hundreds of deaths, I started to think they were all the same. Selfish, egotistical, cruel. But, in the end, it's not that simple. The truth isn't a straight line of ink on a crisp scroll. It's a splatter, smudged, and faded on stained parchment. I wish Morquen could see that, instead of looking the other way, or twisting the truth to serve their own schemes. I doubt Bohai would agree with you. No, nor the rest of the Board of Overseers. As Eileen said, it's easier to believe the lie is truth, but it's worth fighting for. And this Diviner, at least, won't settle for anything less. For that, I thank you, Aloy. The rest of us should be enough of a distraction to the Zeniths for you to hack into their network undetected. But you'll have to be quick, in case they do. Uh, what exactly do you expect me to find, Aloy? I don't know. The truth, if we're lucky. Once all this is over, will you go back across the ocean? I don't know. The more I think about it, the more worried I become. If I go back, I don't even know if they'd let me keep this focus you gave me, or what they'd do to me for reading what is clearly forbidden data. Even if I somehow were allowed to carry on my duties as a diviner, would I be willing to let the truths I've learned about the ancestors be buried away by the Board of Overseers? Would I dare challenge them and risk my family's safety? Or losing Fadera? Who's this Federa you mentioned? She... is another diviner. One of our best. We used to be rivals at the academy. <laughs> I hated her guts. But apparently there's a fine line between hate and love. We became very close, and then I was assigned to the expedition. She promised she'd wait for me, no matter how long it took. Well, that was smart of her. She won't do any better. Yeah, I don't know about that. I do. I want you to know I'm glad you're with us, Alva. Whatever happens, I'm grateful that the legacy brought us together. I never thought I'd get to actually meet an ancestor. Come on, do I look that old? Katala will protect you inside the Zenith base. I'm not afraid. I know Katalo will fulfill his duty, as will I. If we die doing so, at least it'll be alongside a friend. I'd rather you both stay alive, if you don't mind. We'll try and keep that in mind. I need to get going. I'll be at the rendezvous point. May truth lead us to victory.
Did you need something? Something else? How did you get Asera to work for you? I knew there was an associate of the Asaram Tinker, Durval, who escaped his failed assault on Meridian. It was trivial to track her down and gain her cooperation. She wanted to succeed where Durval had failed. So you promised her Regala, and the Tanakhth. Asera would help you create a machine-writing army, and wanted to see Meridian burn as much as she did. And so a partnership was born out of thirst for blood, bonded in mutual self-interest. You think you had everything figured out, huh? I did. I'll be going. As you wish. The deal you made. Override tech in exchange for an assault on the Zenith base. How did Silence approach you? That name means nothing to me. My agreement was with the Asarama Sarah and her sons of Prometheus. So all this time, you didn't even know who you were really dealing with? And you trusted an outlander? If it was a trick, I would have crushed her. But she spoke with the same burning hatred for the Karja. And she offered me the chance to run them down with machines. The terror in your enemy's eyes when they see you charge. You know what I'm talking about. I bet you felt it. I don't think so. What about your end of the deal? Would you have honored it? Had I killed Akaro and become chief? These Zeniths would have been the first of the tribe's victories, but because of you, my people will continue to consort with the enemy. A tribe of weaklings. <laughs> because of me, hundreds of Tanakhs won't throw away their lives in a battle they can't win. <laughs> I need to be going. Yes, enough talking. Just you wait, Varl. We're taking those space lights down. There you are. Would you like to continue our chat? You said before that you're not like the other Zeniths. That you never were. But you went along with all of their plans. Out of necessity. I'm not proud of it. But complicity became a means of survival both when Earth was consumed and when the colony on Sirius was destroyed. I did what I had to, but I resolved to remain one step ahead of the others to try to undo what damage I could, hence the data channel with Beta. The secret passage into their base and the little trick I pulled to save you. 
I should be going. I'll be making final preparations. So, how are we feeling about the mission? I do not know everything that you have planned, but it doesn't matter. All that remains is to follow you to the end, whatever that will be. Thank you, Cotalo. I'm glad all this brought us together. You brought us together, and I am grateful too. Oh, and by the way, I was hoping now would be a good time to go back to the Tremor Tusk site and test my new arm before we leave on our mission. Right. I'll let you know when I can make my way there. Thank you. Now that training time is over, what's on your mind? The Bulwark, the Kulrit, and how we need another miracle if we're to survive the Zenith base. I'll try not to let you down. I know you will not. We didn't really get to talk about what happened at Gemini. There was nothing more to say. If he were to knock, Varl's bravery would have earned him sacred burial at the Grove, among the most distinguished of our tribe's warriors. His deeds were worthy of the Ten. When the fight is done, I will have the Inkers etch his memory on my skin, so that it may live on. I'm sure he'd be honored. Anything new going on I should know about? The Quen has been more insistent than usual, asking about the visions at the Grove. Her pursuit of knowledge is relentless. The Ten would have a hard time fighting her off. Just think of her like one of your chaplains. Yes. Only more persistent. Did Aaron tell you we found the people who gave Regala's rebels the power to override machines? He told me of the battle. I suggested he etch this victory on his fighting arm with one of our Inkers. Is he going to do it? He didn't say no. I'll see you soon then. It will be my honor. I figured it'd start snowing soon. Stay alert, soldier.
give up the hunt soon enough.
Those Tanakh might have been trying to collect this stuff when the machine attacked. They made a run for it, but didn't make it. Should hit it with frost ammo. Oh, it'll explode with a hit from a plasma arrow. 